Hello and welcome to Tech Tuesday. Today, the RB5009 from Microtech. I'm going to take it for a spin. If you haven't subscribed yet, then go on, press the button and buckle up, ready for an adventure as I try to figure out how to use this thing. I did start venturing into the Microtech documentation. And I want to share with you, of course, that this is supposed to be the perfect uh, home lab router. That sounds like uh, quite a tinkering little device. I'm actually hoping this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to try and just plug this in and see if it works. This is my expectation. Can I connect my computer into the router, the other end into the um, modem from the ISP? Come on, come on, Paul. think, think, what are we doing? Oh yeah. So plug that in, plug the computer in, and can the computer then access internet and maybe even access this router? That's all I want to achieve right now. I've been hearing some interesting stories that it might be a bit difficult. No, come on, it can't be that hard. It does, however, say when you start reading into this information, it says that the uh, micro-tick devices are for professional use. If you don't have qualifications, please seek a consultant. Let's see if I'm a pro and if I can handle plugging this in, turning it on. I was a little bit encouraged when I started reading up some information here and one comment on an earlier video said that the router OS 7 is the software that you have to run on this device. And apparently it's new and new doesn't always mean perfect. However, it does say here in this documentation on the Microtip website that router OS 7 is intended for installation by end users without significant support from the vendor. That does sound like I should be able to do this even as a professional. Uh, <laughs> Then I started to look at the first time configuration. More information about the current default configuration can be found in the quick guide document that came with your device. That one there. The text on this is very, very small. However, you can find it online. And here it is. So let's take a look. First steps, let's do this together, shall we? Let's jump straight in. Make sure your ISP is allowing hardware change and will automatically issue an IP address. Check. It will. So my modem, that is the cable internet modem, I actually have it set up in bridge mode. So there's no funky stuff going on there. This will be the center of the universe in my home network, not the router from the ISP. And yes, it does assign it an IP. All good. So connect your ISP cable to the first ethernet port. Right, that would be uh, this one. This one's from the modem. There. That's the first port. Now, connect your PC to any of the Ethernet ports. Well, this is my PC cable. Let's just put it to the one next to it. Great. Now, connect the device to the power source. The power source. Uh, we have a little blue light there. Yes, that's good. How long should I wait? We have some lights here as well. That's a good start. I'm expecting uh, something will happen. Do I need to keep holding this? Do you mind if I put this down? Uh, yeah, let's put this down. Now use a web browser and connect to the default IP address of 192.168.8.8.1. Let's do that. Okay, we don't have anything yet. Now we do have something. It's thinking. 192.168.8.8.1. Hello. Come on. We have something. We have something. How about this? We have router OS version 7.0.5 stable. That's reassuring. Stable. Your password has expired. Please change it. Uh, the old password, let's go back to the quick guide. Uh, password, username admin and no password. 
well there is no old password so let's come up with a new password don't look This is difficult, under pressure. Oh, okay, we're in, we're in. What do I need to do? Go back to the quick guide. Uh, quick guide, it says, uh, update the router OS software to latest version, make sure that your device has an internet connection. Well, can I just try and surf the web now? Hello world. It works. So, I'm on. This really is plug and play. Oh, ho. it has a default configuration in place. I don't know what that means. I'll start digging into all of the settings and I'll be able to see what sort of IP address and what sort of firewall settings are active. But this really did just work. That is fantastic. Okay. Big thumbs up. I'm happy. I mean, if you just take this out of the box, plug it in, I put the ISP cable first, PC cable in, put some power on, waited for the blinky lights, I'm up and running. Come on, is it really that easy? Apparently so. I'm on the internet, hello world. Hello world. Yeah, that's it, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> I'll do some more configuration. If you're interested in seeing me tinker some more with the setup of this particular device and you wanna have a look at more detail in the config for the IB5009, well then give me a thumbs up or write a comment below and then I'll know to do more of those. But this is a successful Tech Tuesday. Uh, I have my new MicroTik router up and running and I'm surfing the web. What more can you want? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Subscribe. Bye for now.